The Asus ROG Phone 3 is the first smartphone in the world with Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 865 Plus processing chip run on 7 nanometer plus technology. But how does it stack up against the already incredible A13 Bionic chip, which is also 7 nanometer plus technology found inside the iPhone 11 Pro Max? Both of them have RAM, of course, so we have 12 on the ROG that I have and 4 on the iPhone with LPDDR5 RAM on the ROG and LPDDR4X RAM on the iPhone. You have a 3.1 storage on the ROG phone and NVMe storage on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. We're going to be using that wonderful 144 hertz panel on the ROG phone while the iPhone is capped at 60. I'm going to drop the iPhone brightness because we have a bit of a flickering effect on the ROG over here with the 144 hertz display. We have OptiFlex mode to ensure that apps load up quickly and don't get killed in the background. We also have X mode to power through things on the ROG as well. We're going to leave animation scales on on the ROG phone because there's no way of completely disabling them on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Round one will be all about boots, fingerprint and face unlock. Round two will be all about initially opening of app speed and route 3 will be about RAM management. We're going to be using my fingers over here so to keep things accurate we're going to pop GoPro footage at the bottom left hand corner. Guys this is Technic and without further ado let's go! We're going to start here in round 1 with a simple boot to see which one can get into the phone faster. The ROG phone gets it in 14 seconds which is twice as fast as the iPhone's 28 seconds over there getting it its first point in round 1. We're going to go into the phone now to see which device can open up and show the app icons first which is allocated to the iPhone 11 Pro Max gets its first point in round 1 over there. Now we're going to test out Face ID. Remember we have 2D Face Unlock on the ROG so it's not quite as secure as the iPhone. Actually not secure at all. But the ROG phone was a little bit quicker there. It was a tie the second time round. It was a little bit quicker again so two wins for the ROG and one draw for the ROG as opposed to two losses for the iPhone over there. Now we're going to test out the secure 3D face unlock on the iPhone as opposed to the secure optical fingerprint sensor underneath the display of the ROG Phone 3. The ROG Phone 3 was just one time quicker via with two draws and a loss for the iPhone so getting it its third and final point in round one as opposed to one point for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Going into round two I'm making sure that all apps are indeed closed in the background. Going into the first app which is the camera app the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Open that one up quicker Flipping to the selfie cam though, the ROG Phone 3 grabs that point. And taking the snap, the iPhone 11 Pro Max was slightly faster that time around. Now with two points as opposed to one on the ROG Phone 3. Going into the photos app over here, the ROG Phone was slightly faster than that of the iPhone. And going into the actual photo over here, once again, the ROG Phone grabs its third point now, surpassing that of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Remember, the ROG Phone is an absolute monster gaming phone, though it is cheaper than the iPhone, so just keep that in mind. Going into the calculator app, once again, the ROG Phone grabs its fourth point. Now double the points of that of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Going into our next system app here, which is indeed the phone app, it was too close to call over there. And our last system app is indeed settings, which we will tap on in a second and see the result goes toward the ROG Phone 3 once more. Now with five points more than double that of the 11 Pro Max. Going into speed check and internet speed test here, the ROG Phone grabs its sixth point, now triple the points of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And now we're not gonna check out download and upload speed per se, we're just gonna check how long it actually takes to run the test. So 22 seconds for the ROG Phone 3 as opposed to 23 seconds on the iPhone, getting the ROG ROG Phone 3, it's seven points in round two. Next app that we have here is indeed Spotify, a wonderful music app. Going into it, the iPhone was slightly faster than that of the ROG, picking up its third points over there. Next app is indeed Adobe Photoshop Express, a photo editing app. And going into the app itself, the iPhone was faster. Going into the picture, however, the ROG Phone 3 was quicker. So now once again, double the points with eight as opposed to four. We're gonna go ahead and save the photo to gallery over here. And the ROG Phone says save to gallery at the bottom of the screen, faster than the iPhone says it at the top of the screen. Getting its ninth point over there. Going into Adobe Rush over here and a video editing app, the ROG phone opens up the app slightly faster, getting its 10th point, now going into double digits. Opening up the project was too close to call. Now we're gonna go ahead and export this 4K 25 frames per second clip. We're gonna compress it down to 1080p, matching the frame rates of 25 frames per second and hit export. Remember we have NVMe storage on the iPhone, which is pretty much the fastest storage available in a smartphone right now. And as you can see, you can see it's six seconds for NVMe on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, as opposed to 17 seconds on the ROG phones latest UFS 3.1 storage that is no longer 3.0 going into Astral VPN since we need a VPN here in China the iPhone 11 Pro Max opens it up quicker and the ROG phone actually turns it on quicker there was still a loading animation when turning on on the iPhone going into our first social media app this is one of the reasons that we need a VPN over here the iPhone opens up Facebook slightly faster getting it seventh point now just four points behind the ROG phone going into Instagram once again opens that one up slightly quicker so now eight points as opposed to 11 on the ROG just three points behind there going into Twitter the ROG 
Phone 3 opened it up slightly quicker because of the animation on the iPhone. And going into YouTube over here, let's see which one will take it. One of them will open up the app slightly faster and one of them loads the entire page quicker, so no point was allocated over there. However, going into my profile over here, the iPhone 11 Pro Max loads that quicker. So three points behind the ROG Phone now. And going into a video over here, the ROG Phone 3 opens up the page, loads the page and plays the video quicker than the iPhone, getting it its 13th point now with a four point lead over the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Going into Netflix over here, the ROG Phone 3 picks up its 14th point. Going into my profile on Netflix, 15th point now toward the ROG Phone 3. Going into Google Chrome, once more the ROG Three picks up its 16th point. Now seven points ahead of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Starting with games here. First of four, Subway Surfers. The iPhone 11 Pro Max is slightly quicker, actually quite a lot quicker over here compared to the ROG Phone 3. Though we do have Armory on, X Mode on. On the ROG Phone 3, it was slightly slower to load over there. But let's check what happens with the second app, which is indeed Flip Diving. Opening up Flip Diving over here. Let's see which one can grab its next point over here. We finally have double digits on the iPhone, but the ROG Phone 3 picks up its 17th point, almost nearing that 20 point mark after opening up flip diving slightly faster than that of the 11 pro max going into our second last game here second last app of the row the rock phone 3 pulls temple run in the bag with 18 points as opposed to 10 on the iphone 11 pro max last game here last of the 20 apps that we'll be opening here is indeed pubg mobile longest loading app and we, when we go into it we're going to speed things up bottom right hand corner over there and let's see which one can load the entire app faster 13 seconds on the 11 pro max as opposed to 15 on the rock phone so the iphone picks up its 11 and final points in round two as opposed to 18 points on the ROG Phone 3. So the ROG Phone had a seven point lead in round two. Now we're testing out RAM management. Remember, we have four gigs of RAM, so we have triple that on the ROG Phone with 12. We have LPDDR5 RAM, which is more important in my respect compared to the actual amount of RAM that you have. And so far, the ROG has just opened two apps where the iPhone have killed those. And the iPhone has kept one app open where the ROG Phone has killed that. So if both of them keep the app open or both of them kill it, no point is allocated. One has to keep it open and one has to kill it in order for there to be allocated a point. So, so far now the ROG opened up Netflix, so three points for the ROG as opposed to one point for the iPhone, now four points for the ROG, now five points for the ROG after going into Subway Surfers. Though they both keep open Flip Diving, they both keep open Temple Run 2, and once more, they both keep open PUBG Mobile over here. Ending off round three with five points on the ROG as opposed to one on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Not much of a difference over there. Total score, 26 for the ROG Phone 3 as opposed to 13 for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So it is twice as fast, some would say. But if you look at just speed in round two, that is 18 points for the ROG Phone 3 as opposed to 11 on the iPhone 11 Pro Max's. Impressive A13 Bionic chip, but now surpassed. We'll have to wait for the A14. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. This is Technic, and I'll see you in the next one.